Welcome to Firearms of America. Today, as you guys can see, I have another Ariad boot review. I was impressed with all of the Ariad so far that I have reviewed. This is Ariad Work. Let's see if they're good. Now, you see this box is absolutely huge. Let's see if I can open it somehow. And these are Ariad that barely fit on my table. The Groundbreaker! Yes, all right. I was really excited to do this review. Overall, let me tell you guys, for the price that these boots are, which is currently about $100 on Amazon, the link is in the description below, everything you're getting is a fantastic, fantastic value. I do like the comfort overall. They are not too heavy for their size. The only thing I will recommend is these boots do run a little bit on the bigger side. So keep that in mind. One of the reasons I like to buy stuff from Amazon is because you can get maybe a few sizes and then find the best that fits and then send everything back without any problems. Keep that in mind. All right, if you're ready for the whole review, let's get into it. As some of you already know, this review is specifically for my ultimate survival boots section yes so these are the work boots right you were wearing them for work you were working and something bad happened i don't know 2020 has been pretty crazy so far i bet your imagination your survival imagination is pretty enriched right and you were wearing this boot you had to leave your work leave your house run fight climb do whatever that is necessary to survive would these be good for your survival? All right, let's find out how to make the judgment. We make the judgment based on eight different criteria. Let's get into criteria number one, comfort level, of course. Now, like I said, overall, for the size, for the weight, for everything that these boots do offer, they are fairly comfortable. How do I make the judgment? I make the judgment by doing a test on all of the boots without exception that I get on this channel. It's a three mile run and a five mile walk. Now, I know a lot of boots out there, they're not very applicable, something that you wouldn't run in, right? But that allows me to establish that baseline for everything that I test on this channel, to make sure that I judge it absolutely equally whenever it comes to the comfort level. So as you can imagine, it was pretty hard to run in this booth because they're not really designed for anything like that, but I managed. All right, there are a few factors that contribute and take away from the comfort. Let's start with the very first one, of course, the weight. Now, this is size 10, and let's see exactly how heavy they are. 29.6. All right, now, to give you a um, reference number whenever it comes to the weight, if you want the boot or the shoe that feels light on your feet, that you want to be able to wear for extended periods of time, walk for extended periods of time, and maybe even be able to run. You want something that is under 20 ounce. Of course, with this side of the boot, size of the boot, right, with all of the protection that these boots do offer, I mean, it's a 100% full grain leather, so of course, the materials are much heavier, right? Um, and 29 ounce is, a little bit over that 20 ounce mark. So you definitely will feel the weight of the boot on your feet, of course, keep that in mind. But let's get into the factor that contributes to the comfort level and probably one of my most favorite part of this boot, besides the looks, of course. Uh, it is the inner sole and the inner sole here is absolutely fantastic. I absolutely love it. Just look at that. It is, it offers a lot of cushioning and it has a very nice shape to it with the arch support and the heel bed that actually prevents your foot from sliding back and forth. Just get, make sure you get them in the right size and not bigger because if they're too big for you, you your foot will be sliding back and forth. But running in these shoes, which you're probably not gonna do, but even though it is pretty hard, you still get a decent amount of protection from the impact because there is very good amount of cushioning in 
this insole. I love it. Now, whenever it comes to the inside of the boot, there isn't really any kind of cushioning on the inside of the toe box. Keep that in mind. So that's a little bit of a negative factor whenever it comes to the comfort level. There isn't really any cushioning anywhere inside of the boot. Um, now the shaft of course is soft, so it's pretty good. But here, it's it's a little bit on the harder side. It, it goes straight into the this leather part. So what I would recommend is getting some thicker socks for this so you have that extra cushioning from your socks. Keep that in mind. And the very last factor, whenever whatever it comes to the um, comfort level, is the flexibility of the bottom sole. Here, there isn't really much, but still, considering how much protection this outsole offers and considering how thick it is, I found it fairly flexible whenever it comes overall to the flexibility of the outsole and that definitely contributes to the comfort level. All right, so done with the comfort overall, I think for what these boots are, I think the comfort level is pretty good for the amount of protection they offer, pretty good. Let's move on to the criteria number two now, which is the proofing and protection. And of course, this is where um, these shoes do shine. Now these, these boots, not, not shoes, boots. They, they, they are not advertised as uh, waterproof. Keep that in mind. However, because they're 100% full grain leather, you do have uh, that um, qualities of leather, right? The waterproofing, water resistant qualities of the leather. So pretty good in uh, that department. Of course, whenever it comes to protection, you have the same durability, right? From that, 100% full grain leather that you wouldn't get from any other fabric out there because just the leather is so durable and so tough uh, of the material. Of course, you have enough protection here from the bottom sole, like I already mentioned, because how thick it is and how tough it is. And of course, your heel is reinforced as well. Now, the toe here, even though it is a work boot, it's not reinforced, it's not a composite toe, it's not a steel so, so keep that in mind. All right, so done with that, let's move on to the criteria number three, quality and the design features. Now, quality-wise, Ariat, they're, uh, I mean, one of the best, one of the best boot manufacturers out there. People do love them. And if you check out the link, the Amazon link in the description below, you will see that these boots, these particular boots, aside from many other Ariat boots on Amazon, they have, over 2,800 reviews and almost five stars. Yes, they're one of the most, I think they are actually the most popular Western work boot on the Amazon at this very moment. So people do definitely like them. Now, whenever it comes to design features, usually I talk about, you know, the lacing and stuff like that. Here, there is really no lacing, but I mean, the overall design is just fantastic. This boot looks absolutely beautiful from this uh, design pattern on the shaft to this design pattern here on the front of the boot, just magnificent. And the quality feels, absolutely, the build quality feels absolutely fantastic considering how for how much they go, only hundred bucks. I think that's just fantastic. But let's move on to the criteria number four, the outsole traction and stability. Now, here of course we talk about the outsole and whenever I test my outsole, whenever I do the run and the walk, I do those through a variety of different surfaces. I start with the older asphalt, then I go into the newer, newer tarmac. Um, then it goes wet sand, dry sand, wet grass, dry grass, uh, rocky road, and then I finish up on some shiny surfaces uh, like marble and tile. Now, this outsole is slip resistant, oil resistant, so it performs very well, very well on the um, surfaces like uh, marble and tile, right? Shiny surfaces. Um, it does perform completely fine on, on regular tarmac asphalt. Uh, it performs pretty good on the sand. Now, on the wet sand, it's a little bit slippery because there isn't really aggression. It's more on the flatter side. Not more, it's really a lot on the flatter side. And the wet grass, I wouldn't recommend this boots on the wet grass because it is slippery. So wet trail surfaces, mm, stay away because this is slippery. This is going to be very slippery because it's on the flatter side. There isn't really any kind of aggression going here in on this outsole. But these are work boots. After all, so they will be more applicable for um, shiny flat surfaces. So 
pretty good option for that. Let's move on to the criteria number five, the temperature. Now, whenever it comes to colder temperatures, um, these are not insulated in any way. So they're not really designed for extreme cold temperatures or anything like that. Plus they're not advertised as waterproof. Uh, However, if you do implement some thicker insulated socks, you might get away in colder temperatures. However, I've been testing them here in Florida. It was about 95 degrees outside whenever I was doing my run. And surprisingly, for 100% full grain leather, they are really breathable and uh, my feet did not overheat at all. Uh, so overall, pretty good. Pretty good option whenever it comes to anything other than extreme cold. Um, let's move on to the criteria number six really quickly is the sizing. Now I've mentioned in the beginning that they do run a little bit bigger. Um, I would say go for at least half a size smaller than your normal shoe size that you're getting. Uh, keep that in mind. It, it, it's, it, it's hit and miss, but again, whenever it comes to buying stuff from Amazon, not a big deal. You know, you can always just return it and, and replace it with a different size. Not a big deal. Let's finish up, start finishing up with the criteria number seven is the balance of application. So basically if you were wearing these boots, right, at work, because these are work boots after all, you're doing, you're doing your shift and something bad happened, I don't know, somebody won the election, someone you didn't expect or riots, I don't know, whatever. 2020, been crazy. <laughs> Come up with something. And uh, these are the boots that you were wearing and now you had to leave your work, maybe run out of there and, and run somewhere to the safety, fight on the way, climb, I don't know, whatever, do whatever is necessary to survive. Would this be, after all, good boots to survive in? I think they are a pretty good option. My only real complaint with these boots is that the outsole is not very versatile. Uh, I do like overall the comfort level. I do like overall all of the protection that they offer. Just the outsole, I wish that there was a little bit more aggression to it so that they are more versatile on the variety of different surfaces, especially surfaces like wet grass and, and trail surface. Something that is slippery, right? But now don't get me wrong, just because they say slip resistant doesn't mean that they're slip resistant on slippery surfaces like wet grass. They're slip resistant on shiny surfaces like marble and tile because they have this unique design which gives you that connection, that traction, um, on the surface, right? But whenever it comes to slippery surfaces, that will not be a very good option. And I'm not even talking about ice and snow. Don't even consider these boots for ice and snow because you will be sliding around all over the place <laughs> in these boots. Keep that in mind. And the very last criterion, criterion number eight, the price. I think one of the best features about this boot is that for everything you're getting in them, the 100% full grain leather, I don't know how they did it, that look amazing, honestly. And of course, you know, $100, it's just, I don't know, unbelievable. $104 currently on Amazon. The link is in the description below. I think it is a fantastic price. Uh, that's probably one of the main reasons why this uh, boots sell so good on Amazon uh, because everything you're getting for $100, is is really really good so let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about those boots would you consider them as your um, ultimate survival boots would you consider them as your work boot drop your uh, suggestions for reviews as well in the comments below i always look out for those if i come across stuff that has been requested first i always get that as a priority thank you very much guys for watching this was firearms for america i'll see you guys in the next video